Okay, sorry about that. I had a good uh, conversation with the gentleman who uh, I went into the mini donut shop and that looks amazing. All right, let's take a look at this. Look at what I'm about to eat. Ooh. Peanut butter and chocolate donuts. Let's uh, set this Ow. down. Oh. And, uh, Right, it's gonna be messy. I wish I had napkins. But, uh, alright, we're gonna fry it. It's hot. Already hot outside. See? Mmm. Mmm. Peanut butter and chocolate donut. Pretty much what it is. Call it a buckeye donut. How's that? Look. Hey. Oh, a yellow jacket. Let's see. Got the coating. Other side. There's, there's a place. There's a good place. Stop. Had it for safe. A very good, very good purchase. <laughs> this one's all green stuff. Peanut butter all over it. This is my celebration for Ohio State returning to football this, uh, in October. I'm going to head towards the uh, more historical stuff inside the mid part. We're going to look at a little bit of artwork here, statues, and a little bit of history of Sarasota. Long Boat Key, I think, is where we're at, honestly. Let's continue on our way. See my everything they got shops. Oh look at Lizard.
There we go. Right now we're just walking by a uh, little shops. Here in a second we'll go by the uh, uh, historical landmark and see what's there. Circle Historical District. Ringling, John N. Ringling, 1866 to 1936. Purchased St. Armand's Key, uninhabited, 150 acre oval shaped island. Planned a community of fine residents with Central Circle Park, surrounded by shops. The park was named in memory of his friend, President Warren Harding, from 1865 to 1923. Residential area features and shopping associated district since 1945 and on January 16th of 2001, Arling Circle with its associate medians and boulevards was placed on the National Register of Historical Places for its unique early community planning and development. Christopher Columbus, 1492 to 1992. Quince Intienta, Our Lady of Victory Council, Knights of Columbus, Sarasota, Florida. That, is that really Christopher Columbus? Am I looking at, I believe so. I think. It says Christopher Columbus on it. I don't think, but yeah, in 1492, he sailed the ocean blue. He sailed the, sailed the ocean blue to Sarasota, Florida. Longboat Key. Really? So I guess I don't know. So. Oh, you can see all around. Armin's Harding or Harding Circle. So this is historic Sarasota, Florida, uh, Harding Circle. are all the uh, circus performers that performed in the Ringling Brothers Circus. Ellie Ardley, Hubert Castle, James A. Bailey. That makes sense. James A. Bailey was uh, John's uh, brother. John's uh, brother, yes. William Cap Curtis. Gunther Williams. Animal trainer. He was an animal trainer. And Alan Hill. Otto Grimling. Dan Rice. The Loyal Rimsky Troop. Greatest equestrian act ever presented in the Ringling Brothers Circus. Huh. Maybe we 
don't do me. See that? Ah, yes, that's the problem. So we can see that this park. Ah, let me turn this around. So we can see that this park on the Harding Circle uh, mostly is presented by the uh, Ringley Brothers uh, Cir Circus and Corporation. Now the Ringley Brothers Circus, like I said before, I've already been to the museum, and it was, and they traveled by train because, like I said, they didn't have trucks or cars back then. And train was the easiest way to travel, especially with the big heavy equipment that the circus had to carry with all the animals, the food, supplies, tent, especially, and uh, everything else. And, and what was fascinating was that the, with all that equipment, it was almost like, that was like, when the circus came to town, it was like a sporting event. It was like the Olympics, almost. I mean, they had a pre-game, almost like. It was like a pre-show where they had booths set up and clowns were entertaining the kids and families all over. And uh, school shut down, actually, when the circus would come to town because it was such a big deal. Uh, mostly when you see a circus now, it's not as extravagant as it was back then. Just because the circus acts, I mean, it, it's, the circus has kind of faded, the circus, uh, the era, when it was popular, and then, when it, and then when it wasn't, and it was just all the way through, but the sign that I just showed you a moment ago about Christopher Columbus, I am pretty sure that is a legit recognition of Christopher Columbus and he came here to Florida he was trying to discover I thought it was he was trying to discover America but sources have said that uh, now don't quote me on this because I don't know he discovered the West Indies instead of America But it, but it was very interesting to be able to actually look at the statue and be like, yes, that is Christopher Columbus. Uh, but anyway, we're going to continue on our way. I'm going to just hang on to my mask because I really don't need it. I'm socially distanced anyway. So we're just going to kind of... Okay, sorry about that. Oh! There we go. I'm just putting it on my wrist. There we go. Alright. Time to relax. And, uh, maybe eat some more donuts here shortly. But we're gonna head to another landmark. And I don't know if this will be the same thing as it said on the other side of the park. But, that's it. It is nice around here. Uh, but here, we'll see another sign here. This is the Great Circle. The Circle at St. Armand's. Here, let me just panoram this thing. There we go. There we go. I you can see where I'm actually at and look. Decades after conception, St. Armand's have fulfilled John Ringling's dream of a premier shopping district. Seen during Florida's real estate boom, St. Armand's was part of the John Ringling Estates development and the jewel of Ringling Isle. So, it had resorts, a casino, scattered from Bird to Lido Keys to Southern Lombo Key by architect John J. Watson of Ohio and Sarasota engineer Liam Pickett. Circles surrounding development were made accessible by construction of Ringling Causeway in 1926. So the causeway of where I traveled to get here led to the St. Armand Circle, Harding Circle, which is where I'm at right now. And so as we move forward, kind of can see the park 
all around and it is a beautiful park. And it's always nice when it's not raining and you can see everything. We gotta cross that road here. There are a bunch of statues that we can actually discuss. Uh, and so as we come upon here, Around. It looks like the Olympics, because that looks like a discus player on that side right there. Looks like a discus player or a shot put or something. Oh no, these stones were removed. This is John Ringling's vision for St. Arnold's. Oh, this. Save Our Statues, undertaken in 2007, chaired by key resident Edward Pinto. Goal preserving the Ringling status. Statues, dating to the 1920s. Enhancing this legacy with 21 classy themed statues in white marble. This. These are amazing. Now this is where I get to the art part of the section. And more of a uh, model of uh, young ladies and of course they are. Who did this? Oh, here we go. Alger and Sarah and its seven virtues. Michelangelo. Looks with approval over the seven virtues. Emperor, wife of Neptune, representing our gulf and bays. Bounty, representing the bounty land and the sea. God, uh, Asclepius, Asclepius, representing the bounty land. Oh, wait, uh, medicine, god of medicine, representing medicine gifts. Sculpture, representing paint and, painting and sculpture. Aristotle, representing educational and research facilities, of course. Flora, representing our natural beauty and representing the performing arts is, of course, music. Complex now affiliated with Florida State University, also boasts theaters, a circus museum, and a research facilities. Over time, Sarasota Concert Band, call it range, and, uh, Ringling in 1925. National Band brought design by Ringling in 1931. Florida West Coast Symphony, 1949. Moat Marine Laboratory in 1955. New College of 1960. Van Weasel Performing Arts Hall, 1968. And Selby Gardens, 1975. And others too numerous to mention were added Fulfilling Ringling's observation through the life is short, art is long. So these are all the seven virtues of and the goddesses of the world, pretty much. Here is the man himself. St. Armand's. Now, St. Armand's, number one tourist. Oh, it's offering a unique shopping experience. It's a business approved script. In recognition, in recognition, our gratitude to the city of Sarasota, partnering with us and share vision to have St. Armand's Circle. And this is. Oh no, this is Michelangelo. I'm sorry. This is Michelangelo himself, who is the ultimate sculptor and artist of the time period of the of the 1800s, 1900s, early. And he actually performed and created these sculptures. Made these sculptures and then, of course, they've been updated since then. But, Michelangelo, this is him.
And of course, there are famous paintings by Michelangelo, uh, like the Garden of Eden, the Garden of Eden, I meant, and uh, uh, that's one of them I do know of. Uh, painting. And also, I mean, we have this. This is really cool, and it's just—I mean, it's real easy. It's real simple. Uh, just a lot of art history, and a lot of art uh, sculpture and painters. Thank you, sir. Uh, guy, let me leave. Uh, go ahead, and so. Uh, was around the first half of the park. Mainly, I wanted to see the. Uh, mainly, I wanted to see the park itself because uh, it had all the different statues and history of the John uh, John Ringling, the Ringling Brothers, and about the circus. Because here in Sarasota is where the circus museum is, actually. And so, but we're gonna, we're gonna kind of head back, uh, we're gonna head on back down the road towards home, and see, and just relax for the rest of the evening, I guess. I'm gonna try to get, uh, I'm gonna try to go on and see if there are any more job sites I can get on my computer and look at and look at and apply this evening and then of course work tomorrow but I'm off and then off the next two days excited about that so hopefully uh looking forward to uh next uh next time that we meet uh wherever that may be uh my next wherever my next adventure takes me I have no idea where I just know I have a car, and I know where to travel. And so, I say farewell from Sarasota. Looking forward to the next adventure. Always please subscribe to the channel at SpinV2. Leave comments down below uh, any, any other historical sites I uh, were to visit or you have been and would like me to visit i'm always open for comments and i will be sure to get back with you on that for that subscription subscribe to the channel definitely turn on the notifications every time i upload a new video love seeing all the comments i've recently had in the past uh and bid you farewell from sarasota my next adventure big old question mark because I don't know where I'm going to go. See y'all in the future.